Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples now of the thermal energy of surrounding molecules being transferred to other molecules, which will then raise in potential energy, right? That's the uphill part, thermal energy becoming potential energy. Okay, if I look at this, um, this situation, so let's explain why does the fact that ice melts, why does that make the water cold? So I've drawn a little particle model here. I'm, I'm showing even though this is liquid water, I showed it just as a different color because it's, it's the liquid. It's the surrounding liquid that I put the ice in. Here's my solid ice. I got to break those attractions. Breaking attractions requires energy. Where does the energy come from? It comes from this surrounding water. So since these are gaining potential energy, the, the energy is coming from these guys. That means the surrounding water is losing energy, not potential because it's liquid to liquid. It is losing energy of motion. The surrounding water loses energy of motion. So um, this would be um, it, so it's a transfer of energy. It's a transfer of thermal energy, energy of motion from the surrounding into becoming potential energy of the ice. So when I go from uh, solid to liquid, I, something melts. It's taking energy out of the surroundings. It's actually cooling off whatever's around it, right? If I go to evaporation, and that evaporation process is breaking bonds, that is going to take away energy from all the surroundings around it, right? So evaporation is going to cool off, and we're going to look at that example. It's going to cool off the air around it. Um, if I go in the reverse, that is like the downhill part of the roller coaster. If I go from gas to liquid, that's called condensation, gas to liquid, I'm losing potential. In my roller coaster example, what happens when I lose potential? It comes down, I'm losing potential, I'm gaining energy of motion. When condensation happens, that potential energy gets turned into thermal energy, and it will transfer that thermal energy into a higher temperature of whatever's around it. Um, when I go from freezing, we think freezing is cold, so somehow freezing is absorbing energy. No, freezing is dropping the potential energy. Uh, and what's happened to that lower potential energy? Just like the roller coaster, lowering potential increases energy of motion, and that causes um, the surroundings around it to gain energy of motion or increase in temperature. Okay, let's just look at another example of this, um, of evaporation that we're kind of familiar with, because if we go out to a festival or something, when we're able to do that again, um, and we see the little spray misters, and so the spray misters are out there sp putting tiny droplets of water into the air, what do those water particles do? They evaporate. And we say, well, they're cooling it off because the water's cooler. No, it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little cooler, but that's not the main reason why spray misters cool off an area, like if it's a tent or something like that, that has these spray misters going, the air inside there is much cooler because the breaking of bonds, the changing of the increased potential energy of the water is taking energy away. That requires energy. What's supplying the energy? The molecules of air around that water. Right? Most of the molecules are the air around that water. They are giving up their energy of motion in order to boost the potential energy of the water vapor. Energy of motion of the air is reduced, meaning the temperature of the air is reduced because of the change in potential energy of the water.